Hey guys, Ray Jam here. So once again, this is pretty much my new life. Cooking vegan food. So this is vegan soup. And I also made my favorite dish, which is my comfort dish. My Fiji takes slight Japanese tofu steak. And once again, being with uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, unknown chicken condition, being on disabilities, pretty much all I could do is eat, sleep, cook, clean, and that is pretty much my life. <laughs> because when you're poor, you gotta cook. I can't uh, waste my vegetables because then that's wasting food, wasting money. And then there's a lot of certain dishes that I crave, being vegan. And once again, I actually enjoy cooking and cleaning. So, I'm trying to get adjusted to my new life. And to some people it's boring, but to me it's not boring. Because now I feel good that I could cook for myself. Some people can't. It might take me a couple of, four or five hours to do one dish. But I'm also cleaning at the same time and prepping and taking breaks. So a lot of pacing, a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of smoke breaks. But then I do eventually have a couple of dishes that I make myself. So I feel really, really blessed and really proud that even though I can't go out and do what I used to do, which is ghost storytelling, my new life is kind of sharing recipes that I make often which is vegan and then I could share my vegan life I could also share my life living with conditions which is difficult but at the same time at least I can inspire other people and when you have to cook and clean by yourself it's hard but it's a lot better than living with other people and having roommates and having to rely on people so this way at least I could still kind of look after myself. It's a struggle, but I still manage. But now on that note, I am finally going to take a shower because I just finally was able to buy shampoo. So I haven't washed my hair in a few days <laughs> because I can afford it. So thankfully, because my friend sent me some money, I was able to buy some shampoo and vegan milk and other stuff that I needed, groceries. So and I'm so thankful for my friends and once again living with conditions it's hard but I have realized who my friends are and who aren't my friends I've lost a lot of friends I've realized who my true family is and who aren't really my family even though our blood doesn't mean that we stick by each other so it's just uh, very very thankful even though like I said I'm adjusting to Having chronic fatigue syndrome as well as um, I know chicken conditions, other disabilities, which you guys could watch my uh, How I Was Born Different videos, so I don't have to keep repeating myself. <laughs> but uh, I'm born different, and unfortunately, my life has changed. But I have found a new love. I have found a new way to live, and also now I do YouTube daily, so that's another thing <laughs> that I never used to do. So I am very grateful, but at the same time, I'm sad leaving my old life behind. But at the same time, I am so grateful and thankful for being able to look after myself and having such a great support system here. So please subscribe and continue supporting my channel here on Phantom Stories, and if you have conditions, don't give up, find a new love, find something to do, because there's always something to be worth living, and life, life is a life regardless, even if you're stuck in bed all day, it's still life, and some people I know uh, who are stuck in the hospitals, they draw, they do YouTube, they share their story, they fight, and we never give up, so that's the main thing, so never give up, hang in there, and we're all in there together here on Phantom Stories, never giving up, and enjoying my new life with conditions.